Hello guys, welcome back to Student Future Channel. In today's video, I will guide you how to apply for Edisuk Campania Scholarship in Italy. So this scholarship is open now. Simply type Edisuk Campania Scholarship in Google and search it. When you will search it, here you can see some websites. So click the very first link that is the official website of Edisuk. Click here. When you will click here, this type of page will be open. Here you can get each and every detail related to this scholarship. So first of all, basically this is the scholarship that issues a call for applications based solely on qualifications for the awarding of scholarships, accommodation, places and international mobility grants. And here if you uh, see the recipients who can apply. So here you can participate in the competition for bachelor's degree courses, for single cycle bachelor's degree courses, for master's degree courses and statutory graduate courses for professional practice, doctoral research courses and first level academic degree, second level academic degree. So these degrees are available for this scholarship. So if you belong to any of these degrees, you want to do bachelor, master or PhD, you can apply for this scholarship. Then a uh, list of universities here, these universities belong for this scholarship. So if you have received admission in any of these universities or you have already applied to any of these universities, for example, you have applied University of Salerno or you have applied to University of Naples, similarly University of Campania. So if you have applied in any of these universities or in any of these schools, then you can apply for this scholarship. Next, if we talk about the requirements, the eligibility requirements are divided into two categories, merit requirements and requirements related to economic conditions. So mostly it's belong to on the basis of economic conditions and you need equivalent university IC document for this scholarship. So the requirements relating to financial conditions must be met by all applicants at the time of participation in the competition. While the merit requirements must be met at the time of participation in the competition only by applicants enrolled in years subsequent to the first. So this is the requirement to apply for merit or financial based scholarship. Then amount, what amount will be given if uh, usually varies but from the call of application I will uh, give you further details how much scholarship you will get by this scholarship. Then how to join the application is submitted exclusively through the reserved student area. So uh, before that, let me tell you the first step is read the call for application and make sure you meet the requirements. Then uh, first and second step is same. Then in the third step, you have to fill out the application, then submit your application and check payments to you. So these five steps are required for this application. So here these documents are related to call for application 2023-2024 but call for 2024-2025 year is also open let me show you the website for this so click here at this home page and scroll down here you can see in the latest news approval of the 2024-2025 competition announcement so open this I will add the link into the description as well. You can directly open all of the websites by the description links. So when you will open, this type of page will be open. Here you can see this is the scholarship call for 2024-2025 year. And here you can get each and every detail related to application and scholarship process. So the applicant must be completed exclusively online through this website by uh, accessing the student reserved area. So open this link in another tab and let me tell you further details. The competition deadline is 23rd September 2024. So you can apply before 23rd September. Then scroll down and here you can see documents related to this scholarship and you can download easily from here for example notice for scholarship 2024-2025 English version so simply open this document as well from this document you can get each and every detail related to the scholarship you can understand each and every step so most important things I am going to tell you here first one is eligibility requirements when you will click here you, can, you will be directed to the page related to eligibility requirements here you can see merit requirements and requirements relating to economic conditions 
so relating to economic conditions is in art 4 below scroll down okay so here in the article 4 you can see participation limits so your ic value and the indicator of the financial situation abroad must not exceed 25500 euros so it should be lower than this amount also the equivalent balance sheet indicator of the household must not exceed 54000 euro so this is the ic limit to apply for this scholarship so you can calculate this ic value easily for your economic conditions if you fall this category then it's best to apply for this scholarship similarly you can see other details from this document as well so here at the page number 22 you can see uh, according to IC value, your scholarship amount will be changed. For example, if your IC value is less than 12,750, then you will get 8,063.37 euro. For non-resident students, similarly, if your value belongs to in these categories, for example, income threshold 25,500, then you will get 4,490 euro income stipend monthly basis. So let's start the application process. How you have to apply for this scholarship? Simply open this link. I will add this in link into the description as well. The first step is you have to register for this scholarship. For this purpose, you have to click on accreditation. Simply click here. When you will click here, this type of page will be opened. You have to declare here click on accept now add your personal data enter your surname then enter your name then select your gender enter your date of birth then enter your country of birth from here you have to select then province of birth city of birth same place of birth for countries other than italy now you can enter place of birth your city name then now click on calculate tax code and it will be generated automatically. Now enter your email address. Again add this email here. Now click on after you. Now citizenship select. Then select your nation. Then province it will be added automatically common as well. Now add fraction. So in fraction you can add apartment or unit number or building number then add address then add service number means your street number then add zip code and telephone number and mobile number okay then your home address is the same as your official register address click on yes if it is same then click on after you now you have to add identification document select document type that you want to add for example passport Issued by enter your country name. For example, you can select Astro if it is foreign. Then enter number, passport number. Then select your nation. Then select enter your place, city name. Then enter release date and expiry date of your passport. Now you have to attach your passport. Click on upload documents. And click on uploading document and select your passport. Click on confirm sending, then click on after you. Now you have to select a password and password must have a minimum length of six characters. It is recommended to use both letters and numbers. After selecting password, click on after you. So your login user code is your data has been forwarded to the email. Now open the email that you entered in the register. Now click on after you. So I have received the email. Here you can see to access the online service you will need to use the following user code. So here is your user code. Copy it. Now go back and click on sign in. Now enter your tax ID code and enter your password that you added. Now click on sign in. Okay. So this type of page will be now open. Here you can see different options but you have to click on online application for scholarship and related benefits. Click here. And enter your personal data. A little bit is already added if something is missing you have to add so now you have to add your PEC email where you received this email just add it here click on save and continue now uh, check your residence address if it is okay then click on save and continue now you have to check your document type click on save and continue 
no benefits requires university enrollment now you have to choose type of course you are competing for so i have to select any option for which you are applying who will attend one of the various study courses undergraduate master or single cycle who in the academic year will attend a phd course in the academic year will attend a compulsory specialization course so if you are applying for bachelor then select this one if phd then this option and if you are uh, going to do any specialization course then this one so i find me i am going to select first option now you have to um, mention in which university you have applied so from this you have to select your university name for example university of salerno so here you can see attention adisoc will ask for your merit and university career data from the university you have selected on this page therefore before continuing check that you have selected it correctly all right then freshman yes okay then university in university career you have to select the option to have been enrolled in previous academic year if you have been enrolled then select this one to have already benefited from credits no already be in possession of another no mean who in the academic year will attend a second university course uh, if you don't belong to any of these options then you can simply click on save and continue no uh, service request i would like to apply for the following benefits for which benefit do you want to apply increase in the amount of the scholarship for enrollment the second degree course admission to residence integration for international mobility according to the checks that will be carried out by the company with the university at the end of the academic year no which benefit you want you can select from here for example admission to residence or increase in the amount of scholarship if you need admission to residence then you can select this one as well for example i would like to stay at where you want to stay you can uh, choose the option accordingly if any of the university belongs to here where you can stay you can select that option then uh, sorry then i ask to stay in single or double so you can choose accordingly okay then integration for international mobility if you need this one then you can select this one as well no number of meals per day for students at the university of salerno how many meals you want from the university so one or two you can select it from here then click on save and continue now you have to uh, select self certifications and declaration so to be a candidate from here you have to check with a disability if any of the disabled disabled person is applying then select yes otherwise no to be a stateless student no to be a political refugee student no to be a student coming from a particularly poor or developing foreign country if you are uh, coming from a developing country they have also given the list of the developing foreign countries you can study in r 4.5 a single competition announcement in the call up application then if follow if you belong to uh, any developing foreign country then select yes otherwise you can select no so you have to clear that you are a student from a particularly poor or developing foreign country with a family unit residing there so if you select yes here then you have to submit a uh, icf document to the university as well so if you select no then you can proceed save and continue okay next step is out of resident student so here you can select out of office if you want to stay away from the uh, any residence that is provided by the university then you can select this one here you can see company should automatically assign the accommodation acceptance of the assigned accommodation is a necessary condition obtaining the status of non resident in the event of non acceptance okay so students who are not awarded a scholarship or who are not awarded accommodation due to the exhaustion of available places in university residence can document their non resident status by mean of residential rental contract then you can select on save and continue no family unit residence the candidate will with status or political refugee status must indicate that uh, as a family unit residence in Italy no select abroad click on save and continue no uh, benefit request data relating to the ic okay university ic to be in possession of the ic university signed in the year 2024 yes you have to declare to have received the uh, 
calendar year 2022 amounts of scholarship if you have received scholarship in the calendar year 2022 then yes otherwise no economic condition as per icf 2024 certification if you have this document and you have calculated uh, these values then you can enter the data accordingly if you have not calculated it yet then you can enter zero zero okay now the data collection form to obtain the icf must be filled out at a CAF and delivered to uh, the university before the deadline okay so before or after reaching in italy you have to give this data to the university then click on save and continue so here is the summary of your scholarship you can recheck all of these details for your confirmation then again click on save and continue if all of the details are okay you can check each and every detail here click save and continue if the information is okay so here you have to confirm you are about to confirm your application for benefits for the academic year 2024-2025 to consolidate the information and forward to adisu press the confirm button and by pressing the confirm button the application summary will be available from the following day so when you will click on confirm your application will be forwarded to the adisu and they will check your application and after evaluation you can see further details of your scholarship so when you will click confirm here so after clicking on confirm you can see your further details by this page again for example you can see application received when you will click here your data will be visible here at this page and you can see your details from here after completing your application similarly at this tab you can upload your documents after arrival so you can see this tab when you will complete your application online so this is the procedure to apply for this scholarship so if you find any of the query related to this scholarship or university you can comment me i will be there to reply you so we wish you very best of luck for this scholarship see you next video